everybody this is Jacob Varro for a build update today showing you guys what amplifier I'm pretty much I got based on y'all suggestions as well as what I kind of felt best going with for my new sub that's going to be going in here replacing my crescendo control to 10 inch sub going into a 12 inch sub it's going to be a Fi SP4 plus 12 um, so you get to see what the amplifier is in a second just before that I want to say thank you guys everybody that always watches Always gives the likes to all of my videos as well as getting the constructive feedback and criticism as I'm not the best at car audio with everything, but it's a hobby and I do videos for entertainment. I'm not always right, but I'm glad to help. So here's the amplifier reveal. So I went with the Crescendo uh, the Bass Clef BC6K. So this is a 6,000 watt RMS amplifier rated at, I think it's 13.8 volts. Um, I actually used to have four of these. In my old build, if anybody remembers watching, if you haven't, go ahead and go to my main channel and check out uh, my setup playlist on Jacob Vile channel. But anyway, I had four of these on 415, so I know for sure that this amplifier does do rated. I think I clamped at like 5,600 watts, wiring from half ohm to like 1.3 ohm rise at mid 13 volts. So I think this is going to be exactly would be perfect for what I was looking for. Thanks for the suggestions. And of course, since I already used it before, I know for sure this is going to be the right route. So going to be able to up my wire gauge also i'm going to be able to do triple inputs over here so i got the triple inputs ran to the amplifier so i know for sure i'm going to have good current and we're going to see what this thing does on my new 12 inch that i get in a couple weeks they're custom building it now so crescendo control toe bc6k on 112 inch and a fourth order going to be doing some box video work videos for you guys as i pull the sub out do some more tests i'm also before i do take everything out sorry it's about to get a little loud somebody's driving by but before i get it out i'm gonna go ahead and do a burp just to kind of see what kind of potential i have with this amp on the actual 10 inch sub so i know the subwoofer is already um not really liking the power or the uh, way the box is with the big ratio it's really peaky um, plus, of course, the sealed section is too big, but you know, I'm just going to do a video for fun, find out what it meters, so stay tuned for that one. But there's the reveal Crescendo BC6K um, on the Fi SP4 Plus that I'm going to be putting in this box in a few weeks. So stay tuned for that, and I'm going to be doing a lot of build update videos as well, showing you all hey, this is some of the stuff I'm going to be doing, changes, things I can do to my box in the, mid in the meantime while I wait on my actual subwoofer to get built and sent to me. So there's the build update. Hope you guys like. Let me know what y'all think about the amp selection I chose. Um, the subwoofer I'm getting is rated at 3,500 watt RMS. Uh, since it is the plus, it's rated the same as a regular V2 uh, SP. Excuse me, the SP4. The actual power may be a little underrated, but of course it's all in the box. It's not really underrated. It's more based on the enclosure. So how I tune and tweak my enclosure is going to make a big difference with this. So I'm going to give you all build updates as I go for what I do change wise on this, but I'm going to say fourth order and the box that I have, I might build a new one or I might work around this and make this one a little bigger and see what I can do. So definitely not the prettiest system, but a single 12. Let's see if I can get a 153 out of it. If I get a 153, then I'll be amazingly happy. So stay tuned and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you haven't. And there's my ant reveal. Crescendo. Okay. 6K.